Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this really simple, happy Halloween poster. So I'm going to open up a new document, and then I'm going to start with the background. So I'm going to go up to Insert, Shape, and then just select the square. Then just click and drag a rectangle all the way out to the sides. Now to format this, instead of just going up to the format ribbon at the top, I'm going to make sure I'm on shape format and go all the way over to the right and click on format pane. This menu here is really helpful for customizing all your shapes and your images in Word. So the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the fill dialog there, go down to solid fill, click on color, smooth this over. So I'm going to go to more colors. I'm going to put this slider all the way to the left and then I'm going to go along and select a really bright orange. About there, just see the cursor there and then just click OK. Once I've got that in, I'm going to then insert a circle. So back up to insert, shapes and go to the circle. And then I'm going to hit my shift key so that when I click and drag, it makes a perfect circle. If you don't, it will make an oval. So I'm just going to click and drag that out. And then I'm going to customize this as well. So back over to the menu over here. And this time we're going to go to gradient fill. Now, as you can see, I've rehearsed this earlier with the other poster and I've got this orange slightly wrong. So I'll show you how to change that and match the orange in here. So in order to get this gradient, go over to the menu here, click on gradient fill, and you'll see that you come up with this customization bar here. Now, as you can see, when I move the slider here, it will affect your gradient and what it looks like. So I have my gradient to about here. Now what we need to do is change these colors here. So click on the marker, go down to color, click on the color icon, and then you can select from any color here. If you don't see the color of your choice, click on more colors, and then you can once again use the color wheel. So I've selected this orange, and again do the same with this color here, just click on the drop down and select from any color. Then you can just slide these sliders until it suits your design. Now the next thing to do, you can just see there's a blue border line around this circle, and in order to get rid of that, I'm going to go down to line here and click on the drop down. And then I'm going to select no line. Then I'm just going to click on the background rectangle that we made. I'm going to go back to color and I need to match that color to the gradient. So click on more colors. And then once you're on the color wheel, which is this first icon here, I'm going to select the eyedropper tool. And then I'm just going to click on the very edge of this circle. As you can see, when I move this circle around, it will magnify whatever color is underneath it. So I'm just going to take this circle to the very edge of that circle and click. And it'll bring up this orange here and then click OK. Now you can see the effect that we're going for. So now to insert some graphics. So let's insert the words first. So I'm going to go and insert a text box. So click insert, text box, draw text box. And then I'm just going to click and drag. It doesn't matter where. And then I'm going to type in happy. And then I'm going to select the word, go up to the home tab. I'm going to change the font to this Carnival, but you can select any font you like, get one that's appropriate for Halloween. And then I'm simply going to press my increase font size tab here, or my icon here. I'm just going to increase that to about there, I think. And then I'm going to get rid of this white background. If you just click away, you can see there's a white background and a black border to this text box. So I'm just going to get rid of that. So select it, and then you can go over to no fill, and then you can go down to no line. And that's in the bucket icon up here. 
Once we've formatted this text, then all we need to do is copy and paste this text box because all the formatting's now been done. The background's been taken off, the outline's been taken away, and we formatted the text as well. So I'm just going to hit Command or Control C, Command or Control V, and then just click and drag. I'm just going to make this text box a little wider so that we can get the word Halloween in. Double click inside the text box, type Halloween, and then hover the cursor over the edge of the text box and you can see it changes to a cross and then we can move this text anywhere we like. Perfect. Now to get some more graphics and this time we can use some of the graphics from Word but there's another website I'm going to take you to which is really good for all kinds of design resources. So let's just hop onto the internet and I've gone to a site called pixabay.com. You can see that up here. And in the search engine here, I'm just going to type bats. And in the image, I'm going to go down to vector graphics. And here you can see we've got a huge range of free images that can be used for your poster. You don't have to use the one that I'm selecting, but you can use any of these. So I'm going to select this hour here and then just click free download. I'm going to select vector graphic and select download. And then if we just come away, go to insert, pictures, picture from file. And then in my downloads, I've got that file here and then just click insert. Now often the image will be inserted to the very back, it's almost like layers in Word, so it'll be inserted behind this uh, rectangle that we inserted earlier. So before you click away from it, go up to Graphics Format, go to Wrap Text, and then select In Front of Text. Now if you accidentally click off it and you can't see it anymore because it's behind this background, then just move the background then select your graphic, bring it to the front, and then just move this rectangle back up. So again, I'm going to copy and paste this bat a few times by pressing Command or Control C, Command or Control V. And then we can just rotate them, reduce the size of them. Okay. And again, we're going to do the same at the bottom, but we're going to use some of the icons that are available in Word. So we go to Insert, Icons, and under Stock Images, we've got Icons and Images. Click on Icons, and we'll put in Pumpkin. And then we'll select this pumpkin here, and then select Insert. Once again, you can't see it because it's gone to the back, so again, up to Wrap Text in front of text and it will appear down here. Just going to enlarge it by just dragging out the corners and then there's a really quick way to copy and paste in Word. If you just hit your Alt or Option key, you can see my cursor changes. Just click and drag and it will duplicate whatever you've selected. So I'm just going to reduce the size of this and maybe turn it slightly. And then we're going to insert a shape. So insert, shape. We're going to select this shape here. Now this shape is towards the bottom here. It's here on your menu. And then once you select it, just click and drag. And this one needs to be quite tall because it's going to be turned around like this. Just use that circular icon there to make that, to rotate it. Needs to be a little bit longer, let's just pull it out. There we go. And once again, we're going to customize this shape. So make sure it's selected. Go back over to this side here, but go to Format Shape. Solid Fill, we need to go down to Black, which is here. And then just take that line off and select No Line. And then we can just move these pumpkins around, make them a bit bigger or smaller or rotate them using that circular icon there. 
And then we're going to grab one more image from the internet. So let's go back on to Pixabay. And this time we're going to put in spider's web. And again, an awful lot for you to choose from, but I'm going to select this image here, select free download, vector graphic, select download. Go back to your document, go to insert, picture, picture from file. In my downloads here, I'll have the spider image or the spider web image and select insert. Once again, it's at the back. So again, make sure you're on graphics format. Go to wrap text and select in front of text. Once again, we're going to rotate it and just pop it down here. And then back over to our stock images at the top here. This time we're going to insert spider. And you can see there are webs here that you want to, if you want to use them, you can, but I just felt that the one from the stock image website was a little better. So I'm going to select this spider and select insert. He's up here again, behind everything. So again, wrap text in front of text. Oh. And then just drag him down. And then again, I'm going to hit my Alt or Option key to duplicate him and click away, click back on, otherwise I'd have duplicated another two and then click off, click back on. And then we can just rotate these spiders and we can change the size. There we go. There's your very simple Halloween poster that you can create in Word. I hope that's helped you today and inspired you. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.